tired of forgetting all those community dentistry facts. Stick with me and we'll make them stick for INICET. Community dentistry or public health dentistry is one such subject which can make or break your score. I am Dr. Sahil Dingra from Team Meritors. In this video, I'll tell you the top ranked strategy to ace the community dentistry subject and to memorize all the tables and facts. Let's start. Step 1. Identify the high yield topics. So, in when you see the community dentistry syllabus, there are six topics broadly. Biostatistics, Epidemiology, Indices, Preventive Dentistry, Caries Activity Test and Extra Cover or Miscellaneous. Now, out of this, if you see for your AIMS or INICT examination, the most important topics are Biostatistics and Epidemiology. So let's say if they are asking 20 questions, out of that around 12 to 13 questions will be from these two topics only. And these both are vast topics. So when you are starting your revision for, for PhD, first start with these two topics, cover biostats and epidemiology and try to do this together. Why together? Because there will be some overlapping things also. Specifically the studies, the cohort study, case control, that classification of experimental, analytical and all is very important. You have to do all these in depth and the chi-square test and all those qualitative and quantitative tests for statistical significance. Then skip the three topics, three, four and five and move on to the extra cover. Now, after this, AIMS focuses more on the extra cover. Now, when we see the extra cover of the Meritors app, you will find topics like committees, like the Srivastava Committee, Katar Singh Committee. Then you will also find topics like any newer techniques are there, like SMART is there for dice for KDS assessment. Similarly, you will find foundations like Rockefeller Foundation and all. And uh, government schemes, the newly launched government schemes are very, very important in this community syllabus. Other than this, the organizations. WHO, UNICEF and all this, you need to know where are the headquarters of these organizations and things like that. So when it comes to PhD, you have to know not just the syllabus, but also the social aspects like what's going around. So, for example, there's a very common question. They ask what is what is the mission under Indra Dhanush related to? So these are all the central government schemes which the government has put forward and you need to know these. So these will be covered in the extra cover. And if you will see, it is a very bulky extra cover. Around 500, 600 questions are there in this extra cover itself. So do these three topics first, because these are the core PhD topics. Other than this, if we see indices, indices, little bit they will cover in perio also. Mobility and all, the tooth mobility index and all, for example, will be covered in perio too. So this you can club when you are reading perio, you can do these indices from there as well as from here the chapter number four and five this you have to club with pedo so when you will do pedo that is why pedo has a lower weightage because most of the pedo questions are either from ortho or from endo and the remaining ones like the preventive aspect art and all fluorides they are also covered in public health so public health the advantage is if you see the sobin peter textbook or even if you see the app Public health has a very extensive coverage of these topics. Like for example, Carey's activity test will be given in a lot of depth in a public health industry textbook or public health industry MCQs when compared to pedodontics. So better to club this together and read this. If you read these two, almost 20-30% of pedo is also covered. Now the so basic is when you are doing, let's say you are starting with public health today. So first do chapter number one, two and six first complete these three others when you are let's say you want to do P, you have done public health these three chapters you have completed let's say ortho and perio now you want to do pedo so with when you do pedo you can cover these two there also you can start with this also so either you can cover from this textbook and then revise from pedo or you can do from pedo and use the mcq bank from some community to revise these topics Similarly, for indices, you can do it together with Perio. So for community, it is a very factual subject. So the basic thing is this entire timetable, the six su subjects, 
you have to cover everything you cannot leave every anything but the advantage of community is it is clubbed with subjects like one sub one one chapter with perio two chapters with pedo like this you can join the syllabus step two is again the last 10 year papers of aims or inicet for community dentistry so this is one of the most important aspects and when you will see the last 10 year questions the first in the first slide what i was telling you about the role of foundations and committees that you will find highlighted there because in they are always asking two to three questions on these organizations and all so very important to do the last 10 year question papers of aims and inicet and after this we have special questions set again for public health also in the tasks in inicet power pack you will have two tasks one for image based another for special question set wherein we have covered the previous year sr questions recent advances and the articles then step 4 is practice and revise at least 3 to 4 times is there a golden rule for all subjects but when it comes to public health you may need to revise extra why the extra revision is needed is because it is a very 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 factual subject and also it has a higher tendency for a negative marking so you have to be very careful careful why only attempt if you are sure if you are not sure about the answer do not attempt because most likely you will get it wrong public health is like where they will give you a fact and they will ask you okay which year this organization was formed in and they'll give four options so very 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 difficult to guess and there is one more thing after the exams have become online you cannot guess like whether it will be a second option or a third option so most of the if i'm seeing most of the guide the faculty also they are guiding that either you do all options second option or all questions third option this was very much valid when we were having the offline exams omr based so because we have a tendency the human brain will have this tendency maximum answers will be either second or third but and most of the times what was the golden advice was that if you don't know anything mark everything b and come but in the online what happens is not just the questions are jumbled even the options are jumbled so now it is much more difficult to do this guesswork and all so only way how you can do guesswork is when you can eliminate two options and then use the option elimination smart guessing strategies other than this you cannot guess now so better to leave and the why in the first initial intro we said community is the one which will make or break your INICT score as well as ranking when i gave the exam when i got the rank one community had more than 30 questions almost 32 33 questions were there only from community in 2021 so it is very very important and community the biggest thing is it is one of the most difficult for everyone so even if you get 20 23 correct 22 23 correct out of 32 like it, it came in my time it is enough to clear the exam and the in community you don't have to get 30 out of 30 you, if you can get 23 24 80 percent also you can get correct it's okay it's not like a very easy subject or a very clinical subject you have to remember facts nobody will remember others will get 15 you will get 20 that five marks will be the difference in the end when it comes to perio or so difference will be little less because they are not that difficult subjects the subjects which will have massive differences pharmacology subjects like community microbiology biochemistry these are the subjects if you ask any student to name top four five four difficult subjects these four will definitely be there so focus more on community there is a possibility you might have to give it two to three weeks also but if you have if you are well versed with the other subjects so you can take one month to two days short on perio and ortho and go for community and then see the clinical subjects if we see out of the clinical subjects also consento prosto oral surgery are the three which even if you have studied less you can do because you have done that a lot in your if you see the postings are also more in these three subjects and the clinical exposure is much more compared to ortho or perio or even public health so these are the ones public health is one of the most important subjects do not forget to do it and do not skip it at all most people skip this subject pharmac public health but this is the difference between air 1 and air 500 
that the, the air one has done all the subjects equally well. In the exam hall, yes, he might panic. Yes, they might get two, three wrong also in these subjects. It's because this is a very difficult subject. But the goal is that whatever you have read, you should not get that wrong. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Please do treat public health also as a very important core subject for your INICT preparation. And if you like the video and want to watch more such videos, do follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have not downloaded the Meritus app yet, you can go to the Play Store or the App Store and download our app. Thank you and have a nice day. All the best for your exams.